Gun rights activists post 3D gun plans online amid temporary ban by U.S. court The controversial issue of printing 3D guns and distributing their schematics online first emerged during the Obama administration, which had successfully barred the practice. The ruling was reviewed in June 2018, with the ban being lifted. Following the recent ruling by a federal judge, who temporarily banned the posting of schematics for 3D guns online, a coalition of U.S. gun rights activists called Code as Free Speech began posting schematics for 3D printed guns online, directly disobeying the court's decision. They claim that the court's ruling is in violation of the U.S. Constitution, arguing that the publication of such information, e.g. schematics, is protected under the First Amendment. The group said in a statement that it wants to encourage people to consider new aspects of the nation's marketplace of ideas, despite the government's attempts to block them from doing so. Read more, U.S. judge blocks online publication of 3D printed gun schematics The U.S. barred the open publication of 3D gun plans under the Obama administration on the basis that it violated federal export laws. Still, the company Defense Distributed, based in Texas, successfully challenged the decision in June 2018. However, the latest court ruling declares that until a final decision is made on the subject, the company must refrain from republishing its 3D gun plans. The controversy surrounding printable 3D guns is taking place amid fears that the new technology could facilitate new mass shootings, making guns more accessible and untraceable. Their opponents note that existing black markets for weapons already fulfill this purpose, while a personal 3D printer costs too much to function as substitute. Read more, fact sheet, what is a 3D printed gun anyway? The U.S. has seen a spate of mass shootings in 2018, with many of them taking place in schools, leading to numerous casualties. It has led to a growing number of gun control advocates in the country, demanding stricter laws, although the current administration opposes the idea.